Hey everyone, actually Jake here bringing you a new video um, on the Detroit Red Wings 2019-2020 season predictions. Um, I will be changing my name to Slarchy because that's what all my socials are. Um, epic, sport creator, all that stuff. So I just need to wait until the, because I used it too many times in 90 days. But yeah. So here we have the Red Wings, and um, this is my predictions. This is opinion slash what I want them to do with the team. <clears throat> so how will we do? My predictions is we'll go 37, 29, and 6, which is um, 80 points. And that's an improvement from last year. I don't think we'll get too much more points because um, all the old contracts that we have, like we got we got Daly, Green. I mean, Green's not bad. Um What's it called? Uh, Erickson, Applicator Helm. Just plug in, plug in, uh, plug in the lineup where, where we can't put uh, young people up on the ice because of them. So we signed a couple two-year guys, Calvin Picard, um, Phil Pula, and Patrick Nemeth. I think they're just guys to fill in the roster so we can have our young guys um, not waste their seasons in the NHL for the rookie season. We can have them go to the AHL and build chemistry there. And then we can um, actually compete in the next couple of years with all of our uh, contracts are going to be ending pretty soon. Um, we have four defensemen coming off the books next year. That would be Green, um, Green Daily, <laughs> Green Daily, um, Erickson, and maybe Cron will end this year. I don't know, some other defenseman, uh, I think. Maybe, something like that. But we're going to be get it, getting out uh, $21 million in contract next year, and then we'll have to sign, sign the big boys AA, you know. Um, I think Mantha and A Mantha too. I'm not – maybe Bertuzzi, I don't know. But – We'll, we'll have money to, to sign them. Then we'll, by the, that time, Cider will be NHL ready. Um, Mickelrath will be. Um, I don't know if he'll be ready. I don't know. But we'll have uh, Hronik Cholowski top pairing. Um, heck, it might even be in there. Who knows? Uh, Oliver Casque might be in there. But we'll be having a good team pretty soon. Um, Larkin will get 80 plus points is my opinion and he'll get in the all-star game and um, he'll get a the he'll win the fastest skater next year that's my prediction I hope so he, he deserves a second chance because everyone says oh he only won because he got a head start I, I, I agree with that but at the same time he fell so that for, for him falling that pretty much um, negates the, the head start you know what I mean so like you it's about the same score if you wouldn't have fell. Because if you would have not had a head start and um, he didn't fall, I'd say it's kind of a, in, like imperfect score. But since he fell, it, it, it probably would be the, about the same if you started uh, flat-footed. Um, but you never know. We'll, we'll see next year. Hopefully they both do the same thing and – we can see if Larkin is actually faster than McDavid. I hope he is, but I think, honestly, he, he probably got slower over the years, not going to lie, um, just because he's adding weight for the, so he could be bigger and stronger on defense. He's still going to be fast, but I don't, I don't know. We'll see if he, he still has the top speed to beat McDavid. But um, Mantha, Larkin, and AA will all break 30 goals, I, I think. Um, if AA... Um, plays well with Hirose, um, I think they'll do. They'll both do good. Um, a will be playing wing this year, which is very good. He will get so many breakaways and have so much more opportunities to score. Um, fifth level will be center for him or for another line. Um, Larkin and Mantha will play really good together, obviously. Anyone Larkin with is going to get points. So uh, Hironic, I think he'll get 82 games this season. I hope he does. He deserves it. He won the best. Uh, he was the best defenseman in WJC, which is there's some great defensemen there. 
this season, and um, he got it over all of them. He wasn't on the great team. I'm new. Check's pretty good with dry dry style. Wait, no, that's dry style German or Czech. I don't know. I, I I'm not good with that, but I know Czech did have a good team, whether dry style or not was on it. I think dry style was on Germany, but um, they had some good players on that team still. Can't think of them right now, but anyways, Heronic was the best defenseman, obviously of the entire league. And so I think he will have a 35 plus point season. And um, yeah, we'll have a pretty good team coming up. Not next year though. Forward lineup predictions. Line one, Bertuzzi, Larkin, Mantha. Second line, I was, I'd was i say Hiroshi, Filipula, and AA. And um, third line would be either this is a mix-up for here because whoever on this line, except for Nielsen, is a lock, um, goes to the AHL. So I think if I had to pick one, like three people, um, I would go with Rasmussen, Nielsen, and Svetch. Just because they're older. Wait, not older, but... Um, Rasmussen had a full, like, 60-game season. Um, Nielsen, better, going to play. Um, and Svetch has been trying to get into the lineup for so long, and he's been getting injured at uh, training camp and beginning of the season so, so much. So if he has a good preseason, he will get in the lineup. Zadina, even if he has a good preseason, the, the lineup's too logjam for him to get in, I think. I think he'll get some games up here with injuries. Um, nine, nine games again, maybe, to keep his entry level. I think that's how it works still. Um, Kofner will get some games, too. Kofner played really good in training camp. I, I watched his, the the three-on-three, three, the five-on-five the five, uh, games, and he played really good. Um, that fourth line, Abby, Glenn, Helm. <sighs> It'd be so much easier if all three of them weren't on the team anymore. I, I, I like them as players, obviously. not But, like, they're just holding out places for people, and they're not putting up that many numbers. Glenn's good at face-offs. Um, Abby, is, he's not even physical anymore. He's past his past his prime. Helm used to be fast. I mean, he's a good penalty killer. But, like, you only need one of those players on your team for that fourth line there. The other two should be just fill in guys, guys who want to get in the top two lines or, in, or potentially can. Um, but yeah, next year we'll have so much better team than this too. Hopefully we'll get a big signing. Maybe we will even get, um, fudge. what's this guy's name? Lafreniere. Yeah, maybe we'll even get him. And not get 80 points. You know? Defense. First pairing. My prediction would be Danny DeKaiser, Mike Green. Just because they're going to put those uh, guys who played the longest up there. Just because they're loyal. And then Patrick Nemeth, our recent signing with Heronic. Because Nemeth is a lockdown guy. Heronic's more offensive. If Heronic was like with an offensive guy, he played defense. But since he's with... Nemeth, I think Hronik will have take a lot more chances, get some goals. He has a hard shot, and he can man the power play very, very, very good. Madison Bowie and Chelowski is my third pairing. But Madison Bowie was probably going to get changed with Erickson just because, you know, the Red Wings always go with the, the age, the loyalty and stuff. But I think Bowie is the better player out of them. He's younger, 26 or 27, and he's better. Chelowski... I hope they don't put him in the AHL, dude. He proved himself that he's good enough down there and up here. And I think you should uh, be able to play. I've got like 20 seconds left. But thank you guys for watching. Um, if you guys want more NHL stuff, leave a comment. If not, I'll just do Fortnite. And, um, yeah. If anyone has any comments, send them down below and I'll respond to all of them. Have a nice day. Peace.